Hey guys. Yeah, I know. Another Glock, right? I picked up the Glock 23. Uh, some of you know I was going to go and uh, get a SIG P250 Compact in either 9 or 40. But I read a, through a 100 page thread on the SIG forums uh, with people having lots of problems with the P250. Uh, late primer strikes, fail to fire, fail to eject, fail to lock back on an empty mag. All kinds of varied issues, and I, I mean, I think it's a cool design, extremely cool design, but I think it's just, it's teething, you know, it's new. It's going to take a while. Uh, Glocks weren't perfect right out of the box either, so nothing is normally for that matter anyway, but. Yeah, so I went with the Glock 23. Why did I choose the Glock 23 over uh, any of the other pistols out there? Um, I'm going to be carrying this on a daily basis. This is going to be my new concealed carry pistol. And... If I'm going to entrust my life to it, I want reliability uh, first and foremost. Any shortcomings I can deal with uh, or work around through training, but it has to go bang. And I know Glocks are not infallible, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm not a Glock guy. I'm actually a SIG guy, but that's besides the point. Uh, if Glock does one thing well, it's definitely reliability. So I'm not too concerned about that. I mean, I know there's lemons and anything you can buy, but... There's a there's a, a safe bet that this is uh, it's going to function reliably. Uh, I chose the Glock 23 mainly because of size and weight. Uh, this is a compact, obviously. It does fit well in my hand. It's light. That's a, a definite advantage Glock pistols have is their weight. It is chunky, of course. It's a Glock, but. Uh, I think it's it's very concealable for its size. It came with two 13 round magazines. There's one here. I've got this filled up with uh, Winchester Supreme Elite, uh, and their new PDX1, the bonded stuff, and uh, it's run really well through this so far. As all of you know, it's extremely hard to get ammo right now, especially personal defense stuff. It goes directly off the shelf, so I take what I can get. But it's it has uh, it's grouped well, and it has been very reliable so far. I also picked up some. Let's see. Here's the uh, here's the Winchester box. It's pretty elite. And I got some plinking ammo. Picked up a few of these. Just American Eagle. They're federal. Uh, they're reliable cartridges. Just ball. They're not. Uh, they're not hollow points, but that's more than good enough for paper. Well, what else do I want to talk about? Yeah, it cost me 560 bucks. It came with the standard sights. I want to replace these at some point. I've been looking at the XS big dots. Which I like. I like that sight picture, the uh, lollipop style combat sight picture. Um, what else did it come with? It came with a nylon cleaning brush and a uh, flexible rod. It's pretty crappy, but if you want to throw it in the box, I'll take it. I'll probably never use it, but like I said, it came with two mags. Here's the other mag. Uh, and it also came with the uh, speed loader which is a piece of crap as most people know but like I said throw it in the box and I'll uh, find a place for it in a drawer somewhere I highly doubt I'll ever use it but that's cool uh, you haven't seen me do a safety check and guess what I'm not going to do one because I safety checked the pistol before turning the camera on before sitting down uh, <laughs> it seems like every every video now it's like there's the the uh, eventual old oh, safety check look 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 at me you know Fucking, I'm not gonna sit down here with a loaded weapon before I turn the camera on. I safety checked it myself, and I'm not gonna do it on camera. <laughs> if I shoot myself, guess what? It's my my mistake, my fault. I'll deal with it. Uh, the fit and finish is nice. It's a little bit loose in uh, places, but it's a Glock. They're pretty much the AK of pistols. 
I think that's a fair comparison. Uh, one thing, if you have small hands or short fingers, uh, like I do, especially my thumb is short, uh, I can't just sweep down onto the magazine release. I have to shift my grip to be able to hit it. Uh, that might be a concern for you if you've got stubby fingers like I do. I'll probably try the OEM extended magazine release that Glock puts out. Um, I don't like any of those, uh, you know, the competition style, the huge ones. I think they look kind of silly. Um, so I'll try that, and if it works out for me, I'll let you know. But yeah, if, if you have small hands, that, that might be a concern for you. Other than that, it's uh, it's very comfortable. There's just enough space for the three fingers under there. I might try the uh, the plus two base plates, which actually on 40 is a plus one base plate to uh, to add a little bit with the extension there. Not that it's uncomfortable, but sometimes when my hands are sweating really good, uh, it'll it'll feel like it's slipping down a little bit. I did have the Hogue rubber grips on here. They threw in a pair of those for free uh, when I when I purchased the pistol. But the uh, the Hogue grips make it make an, uh, an already wide grip even wider, and that's definitely not what I want. They they bulge out at the center, like in here at the center of the grip. They bulge out, and it it just it makes it even wider. And it's like Jesus, you know, I'm trying to get a hold onto the thing, not make it wider. Um, so I'm probably going to try either some skateboard tape or A-grip or something like that. Decal grip. We'll try that and, and see how that goes. I, like I said, I went with a 40 s and over the 9mm. Uh, 9 is easier to find, but I think 40 is a good compromise uh, between 45 and 9mm. And I wanted something uh, with a bit more stopping power. So I went with the 40. Uh, at this point, with its use in law enforcement, it's really not that difficult to find. It's slightly more expensive than 9, uh, but not much. Not too much. So That's a personal choice you got to make. I do plan to pick up the 9mm conversion barrel uh, just to cover all my bases. Uh, if I find some cheap 9mm, I can, uh, can go put some holes in paper with that and train with that. Yeah, not much else to say. Uh, overall, I'm happy with the purchase. There's not too much I want to do to this. Uh, like I said, I might change the sights and maybe the extended uh, magazine and slide stop. I might do that. But other than that, it's it's pretty much good to go the way it is. Five hundred and sixty dollars. I feel that uh, it was a good value. I'm sure you can find it cheaper, but here in Detroit, um, the gun prices are a lot higher than some areas of the country. So that's about it guys, not much else to say about this. So yeah, I've, I've officially went to the dark side and bought a Glock. So uh, <laughs> that's about it. Later guys.